This simple one-page website makes $4,000 every single month on complete autopilot. So check this out. It literally just shows AI-generated faces and that's it. No complex features, no fancy design, just faces that don't even exist. And here's the crazier part. They're all making this money from Google AdSense only. Pure, passive income. Now here's where it gets more interesting. I myself have absolutely zero coding experience. I can barely build a PowerPoint presentation, let alone a whole website. But I am about to recreate this exact money-making website in the next 10 minutes using just one AI tool. And I'm going to show you every single step. We're going to build the technical features, connect Google AdSense for that passive income, and then add Stripe for premium features, and the AI is going to do literally all the heavy lifting for me, for us. So if you've ever wanted to build a profitable website, but you've always thought that you needed years of coding experience, well, let me tell you, this video is about to change everything for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. Important disclaimer, building websites and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. When I show you how to build a website, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential. I am not generating your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most websites don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or that you quit your job. This is not financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools. What you do with that knowledge, well, it's entirely up to you. So, all right, with expectations set, let's go ahead and continue building the app. So when you're building something simple but eye-catching, like a one-page website, it's easy to overthink the features. But the magic of great product ideas is in keeping it focused. So in this case, we're going to build something that feels modern and polished and a little mind-blowing. You know, a site that shows you faces of people who don't even exist, all generated by AI. So let's start by telling the AI exactly what we want to build. And the goal here is to create a one-page website that does one thing really well. Generate lifelike AI portraits of people who don't actually exist. And we want the site to feel sleek and modern with a minimalist layout that avoids clutter. And at the center of the screen, there should be a high resolution AI generated portrait. So no extra distractions, just the image front and center as soon as the page loads. And right beneath it or beside it, we need a clear refresh button so our users can generate a new face instantly with a single click. On top of that, we're going to include optional buttons, one for downloading the current portrait, and then another that nudges our users toward a premium version of the site if ever we want to monetize it later. Of course, performance matters here too, because the page should load quickly and the transitions between portraits should feel smooth. And we're going with a dark themed interface, not only because well, it looks pretty sleek to me, but because it really helps the portraits pop visually. And finally, everything needs to be responsive. And that means the site should look and function just as well on a smartphone as it does on your desktop. And once everything's entered, we're going to go ahead and click on start chat. And after a few seconds, it generates the first version for us, a sleek one-page site with a dark theme. Now the AI created portrait appears right here in the middle of the screen with options to refresh and download. There's also a preview of the premium upgrade button already in place. So let's go ahead and click approve plan and start to move forward. Now the live preview updates and we can see the full layout in action. It's a smooth, clean interface with the portrait generator working right out of the box. Now the live preview updates and we can see the full layout in action already. It's a smooth, clean interface with the portrait generator working right out of the box. The download button is ready. The premium feature placeholder, it's visible too. And the site, well, it feels polished across all devices, just exactly like we asked for. 
the layout's in place, but right now it is just the shell. There are no faces yet. So let's fix that by making sure the page actually does what it's meant to do. Generate a brand new realistic face every time someone lands on it. Now this is the part that really grabs attention. So we want it to feel smooth and instantly impressive. And we're gonna start by telling the AI what we need. Set up a system that pulls in a realistic AI generated face from a model, such as a GAN image endpoint. Every time the user lands on the page, show a new AI generated portrait of a person who doesn't exist. Now make sure the image is centered, high resolution, and styled cleanly within a card or frame. All right, so that gives the system the full picture, what kind of image we want, how it should look, and exactly where it should appear on the page. After submitting that, I need to enter the OpenAI API key. So I'm gonna click the link, I'm gonna create a new secret key, I'm gonna give it a name, then hit create new secret key. I'll copy the key, I'm gonna paste it back into Replit, and click continue to move forward. Now the site starts generating AI portraits automatically, but they still look a bit off to me and I want them to look more realistic. We can definitely make it better. So I'm gonna head back into Replit and type in, make sure to generate a realistic synthetic human face. Replit asks for the API key again, so I'll paste it in once more and hit continue. Now, to make sure the style matches the earlier design preview we liked, I'm gonna add one more instruction. You should generate the same AI portrait face photo similar to the visual preview you provided from the start. And now, as you can see, we're getting somewhere. The face looks far more realistic. It's clear, it's centered and framed nicely in the layout. It finally feels like the side is doing what we imagined from the very beginning. Static pages, well, those get boring fast, especially when the whole point of the site is to show something new and impressive. So instead of making users click a button every single time they want to see a different face, let's just have the site do that for them, right? So we're going to tell the AI add functionality that automatically refreshes the image every 10 seconds without the user needing to click anything. Each time, a new random portrait should replace the previous one with a smooth transition effect. Include an indicator that a new face is coming. Now this makes the site feel alive, because instead of needing to click a refresh button, the portrait itself updates on its own every 10 seconds. A small indicator here lets users know that a new face is on the way, so it doesn't feel abrupt. Once that is added, the auto refresh kicks in right away. And every few seconds, a new face loads in with a clean transition. And there's also an option to pause the auto refresh. It's a small change, but it gives the page a much more polished and interactive feel. Of course, not everyone wants to wait around for the next image to appear. Sometimes you just want to click a button and get a new face instantly. So let's make sure users have that option too. And the page includes a manual refresh feature, a clear generate new button placed right beneath the image. It's easy to spot and easy to click so anyone can instantly load a fresh portrait without needing to reload the whole page. And when clicked, the image updates smoothly, keeping the overall flow seamless and consistent with the auto refresh experience. So let's say I want to keep this image. Maybe it turned out really well and I want to save it. So I'm going to try to click the download button, then right click on the portrait and, you know, choose save image as we've all done it before. After picking a folder, I'll hit save and that's it. The AI generated face is now saved to my laptop ready to use anywhere. Now, we all know that there's always going to be that one person who wants to do more, like myself. Maybe save extra images or unlock hidden features or just support the tool because they like it. And for that, we'll need a way to offer a premium version that actually works behind the scenes, not just a fake button. So we're setting up a real upgrade flow using Stripe. 
At the bottom of the page here, there's a little reminder that premium features are available, or at least they're supposed to be. If I click upgrade to premium here, it just says premium features are coming soon. So clearly we still need to activate that part of the site. And to get it working, I'm going to tell the AI integrate Stripe checkout to add premium functionality. Include a go premium button that launches the Stripe checkout flow. After payment, unlock the premium only features and store the premium status for the current session or account. Now, Replit prompts me to enter the Stripe API keys to finish setting things up. So I'm just going to head back on over to my Stripe dashboard. I'm going to open up the developers tab here, and then I'm just going to grab the API keys. And after copying them over, I'm just going to jump back into Replit. I'm going to paste them right in and hit continue to move forward. With the connections all in place for me, I'm just going to switch back to the site to test everything out. So again, let's click the upgrade to premium button. And this time we get exactly what we're looking for here. The Stripe checkout window appears. It's clean and ready to go. I'm going to enter all of my payment info. I'm going to walk through the flow and hit confirm. A few seconds later, everything updates. The page refreshes with a shiny premium badge and all of the previously locked features are now wide open. There are no glitches, no reloads, just a smooth, seamless upgrade experience from start to finish. And lastly, a good looking app is great, but at some point it needs to do more than just impress. It should also start earning. And for a site like this, where users spend time viewing content, adding display ads is a pretty straightforward way to monetize traffic without really having to change the user experience too much. Now, Google AdSense is a go-to choice for that. It's reliable, it's easy to integrate, and takes care of the ad matching automatically. So we don't have to worry about curating what shows up. And the goal here is to place these ads cleanly across the page, keeping them styled like real Google ads while giving the layout room to breathe. Now to get that started, let's tell the AI what we need. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads. The ad placeholders should look exactly like real Google AdSense ads with Google's standard ad styling and format make as many banners as possible. All right, so then I'll add a sample image here. This gives the site a set of fully styled ad placeholders that mimic actual AdSense banners. There's the same formatting, the same design language, and they are placed across the page in a way that doesn't feel like random It's or distracting to the user. To complete the integration, we're gonna head on over to our Google AdSense account and sign in. And from there, we're gonna enter the name of our site that we're submitting and then click save to register it. After that, AdSense provides us with a unique code snippet. And that's the part we need to embed. So we're just gonna copy the snippet and then drop it into Reblet. And now that the code is in place, the next step is to send it over to Google for review. So we'll click request review, then submit. And that's pretty much it on our end. The site is officially in the approval process. And at this point, all we can do is wait. Google usually takes anywhere from like a couple of days to two, four weeks to improve a new site, depending on the content and the setup. So in the meantime, if we go back and visit the website, we'll see the ad placeholders already visible in our layout. Now, these aren't real ads yet, of course, but they do match Google's standard styling and they do give us a clear idea of what everything will look like once the real banners are served. So while we wait for that final green light, we've already got the structure in place and ready to go. There's no need to redo anything later. All right, so this build started out simple, just a single page website with one core feature. But as we layered in functionality, it turned into something much more complete. We added auto refresh, premium upgrades, AdSense integration, and a clean UI that actually feels ready for users. And all of it was built step by step without having to write a single line of code. So if this helped you or it sparked an idea inside of you, please do feel free to hit that like button and let me know what kind of project you're thinking about next. And if you want more AI powered, no code walkthroughs exactly like this one, please do 
do make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications as well. I appreciate you watching and spending your time with me. I'll see you at the next one.